guess it's my last time walking out the facility, you know? We always got, we always got Super 150. I always got Broncos country. And um, yeah. Just keep going. Someday there's a bow that ties where you're Ring of Famer, Hall of Famer. Like I said, that's what it's all about. For sure. Thank you, Vaughn. Thanks, guys. I appreciate Thanks, Vaughn. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, you. you guys. Thanks for your help. Soon. Yes, sir. Take care. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Enjoy LA. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. I miss you, my man. All right, guys. Y'all be good. Pro, always. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so quick you know every single year you hear about Von Miller's gonna get traded we should trade Von Miller trade all these trade Von Miller campaigns and you know you I've, I've been hearing it for four years now you know I signed my deal in 2016 and in 2018 it just started to go crazy like it started to go crazy like trade Von Miller that was you know two years into my deal you know I didn't get traded 2018 didn't get traded 2019 didn't get traded 2020 2021 came and you know it, it happened. Um, it just came into the facility, you know, like I like I normally do every day. Uh, went to the training room, started to work on my ankle. I started feeling like, okay, you know, I, I'm gonna be able to be back. I can practice on Wednesday. That was my, you know, that was my mindset doing the rehab and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just remember Vince, the head, the athletic trainer. He he came up to me and said, George, he wants to talk to you upstairs. I said, George. He's like, yeah, George wants to talk to you upstairs. And then immediately, like, my heart started to beat fast. Like, my heart started to like. Because, uh, I mean, I've been in the league 11 years. Like, I like I, I know what it is. I know what's about to happen. Um, you know, so I'm walking upstairs. And um, I remember going to the same stairs that I always do to go talk to Coach Fangio to go see George Payton. And, I, you know, I walk over to George Payton's, uh, you know, office. You know, going, he, you know, asked me to sit down. You know, sit down, we started talking. He was like, uh, you know, um, we're going to trade you. Just There was some small talk ahead of that. And he was like, we're going to trade you to the Los Angeles Rams. But before you could say we're going to trade you, it was like, we, he said we're going to trade you. And I just immediately thought, like, damn, like, where am I going? Like, you know, because he said the Rams at the beginning, but for that split second, it just had me thinking, like, where am I going? Like, why am I leaving? And George Payton's office overlooks the practice facility. And I just looked outside and I just remember all the training camps and, you know, all the practices that I had on that practice field and, you know, um, all the talks that I had with my players and just had a, a real quick flashback. And then I zoomed back into George Payton. And they said they're going to trade me to Los Angeles Rams. He feels like it's a win-win for both, you know, sides. They're going to get a second and a third. You know, I'm going to the Los Angeles Rams who can compete for a title. Um, and it just, you know, to be honest, it, it, it sucked. And it was like numb. It's like your girlfriend, like, breaking up with you for all of these years. Or, like, getting a divorce from somebody that you just love so much, you know. But... Right after that, I just had like, it was like a bittersweet, you know, feeling to it because I knew I was going to a hell of a team. You know, I'm really good friends with Jalen Ramsey. Um, LA is like my second home. Like, you know, I'm from Texas, but I have, I've been going to LA for 11 years now for the off season. Been spending most, a lot of time in, in the Bay Area and in Los Angeles. So, you know, to really be back in that atmosphere, I felt like, it was a good thing. You know, I know um, my dentist is there. My dermatologist is there. My physical therapist is there. Um, you know, I don't really have a lot of friends, but I got friends that, that are there. Um, you know, L.A. is just, you know, the city of the stars. You know, LeBron James is there. <laughs> Drake is there. You get know what I'm saying? Like, it's there's so many great things that, you know, they bring you to L.A. And, you know, now I'm there. And, you know, I just want to. The fun that I was for the Denver Broncos and the type of leader that I was for Denver Broncos, <clears throat> you know, I, I was, it was a relentless effort to like try to change this team and try to, you know, spark um, energy into my teammates. And, you know, you can't always do it with a smile. Sometimes you gotta like, sometimes you gotta like, you know, rip into somebody, you know, sometimes. And, you know, sometimes guys, you know, team, you know, your teammates might not like you, and I'm okay with that. You know, I was all worried about winning. And, um, 
that's the type of run that I want to be for the Los Angeles Rams. You know, I want to bring that fire. I want to bring that energy. You know, I want to bring that um, that urgency. You know, to to the Los Angeles Rams, and, and you know, help them realize that it's all about winning a championship. Everything that we do, twenty four seven, like fuck nine to five, like. 24-7, on and off the football field. Everything that we do is to win a title. Everything that we do is to take advantage of the type of team that we have now. We got Aaron Donald. We got Leonard Floyd. Jalen Ramsey. Um, we got uh, Matthew Stafford. And I, and I continue to get familiar with all the other, all other teammates that I have on that team. And, you know, the time is now. Like, we, we're doing all this stuff right now to win. And I'm excited about winning. You know, this is my uh, last vlog here in Denver. This is my last vlog in this living room that I built up. You know, I built, I got this computer and, you know, these monitors and stuff. I, I, I dislocated my per peroneal tendon last year. I had a lot of time to game. You know, game is not going to go anywhere. I'm still going to be gaming, but it's all about winning. And it's all about winning now. I'm excited to play in SoFi Stadium. I haven't even seen it yet, so. Excited to go play in SoFi Stadium. I'm excited to be a part of uh, such a. Uh, I'm excited to be a part of another, you know, uh, winning franchise and amazing franchise that's built to win right now. And um, give them all my time, all my energy, and everything I got, you know, to go out here and get sacks and win games for these guys. You know, I love my my teammates. Uh, I love my coaches that I've had, you know, here with the Denver Broncos. You know, thanks, uh, George Payton. Thanks, John Elway, Coach Fox, VJ Coop. You know, Coach Fangio, everybody, man. I appreciate you guys for helping me develop the type of one that I am today. Broncos country, you know, I love you guys. You know, you guys have shown me so much support, um, shown me so much love. Um, there aren't fans in the world that are like you guys, man. You know, Broncos country is just like the Rocky Mountains. You know, they're here and they're going to stay here. They look different every single day. You know, uh, some days you can see them, some days you can't. But just like the Rocky Mountains, you're a huge fixture in this community. And um, Denver will be nothing without you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you. This is a very special, you know, vlog, man. And um, it's a bittersweet day, sad day. Um, but we'll get through it. And God always told me, you know, um, you want to make God laugh, then make plans. And... Um, you, know, you just got to live it one day at a time, man. You just got to take advantage of the time that you have. And I love you, Broncos country. Thanks and good. You never know. I might see you guys again.